Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how to use unidirectional binding in JavaFX using properties. In this video, we will see how to use bidirectional binding with an example. So let's get started. So I have created this sample project in which I have this main.java class in which I have added this main.fxml which I have created here, okay? And I also have the main controller, okay? And by now I think you know how to create them. Everything right now is blank, so I'm going to first of all open my main.fxml file using the scene builder. Now in the scene builder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the controls and I'm going to take a slider from here. Slider can be of two type, horizontal slider and vertical slider. And both works in the same way. So right now I'm going to take a horizontal slider, okay? And I'm going to take a text field from here. So take a text field. And now I'm going to give them some ID. So for the slider, I will go to the code and I will give the FX ID slider to it. And to the text field, I'm going to give the ID field, for example, okay? And save your code. And one more thing I want to do here is I want to link my controller class to this FXML file. So go to this uh, controller category on the left hand side, and then just uh, choose the application.main controller from here. Okay, and then save your code and then go to your Eclipse IDE. Here, first of all, we are going to implement initializable. So just implement initializable and implement the unimplemented method from this uh, initializable interface. And now we are going to declare the slider field and the text field. So I will just create these two fields and I will import the slider JavaFX scene control from here. And one more thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to just declare a private static variable. So private static final double and uh, I will say this is my initial value for the slider. Okay, and I'm going to set it as 50 for example. Okay, now I'm going to go to my initialize method and in here we are going to first of all take the slider object and we are going to set the value here. So just call a method called set value which takes the double as an argument which is the initial value we want to provide. An initial value in our case is 50. So just pass this initial value here. And then you need to take this uh, field from here and we are going to set some initial text to it. So just call set text and it takes the string. But we want to pass this uh, double as a string here, okay? So we will just write new double and then take your initial value from here and pass it here and then call a to string, okay? So it will convert this uh, double value to string. Now next, what we want to do is we want to set the bidirectional property to this uh, text field so that whenever we change the slider, the text field text is changed or whenever we change the text on the text field, then the slider value will change, okay? So take your field and then call a method called text property, okay? So just call this text property and then we will call a method called bind bidirectional, which is for setting the bidirectional property, okay? And we are going to take this and now this takes two argument. First argument is the property of the element which we want to set. So we will just take the slider and then call value property of it, okay? And the second argument is the format of the property we want to change. And in our case, we want to change the numerical property, right? So we will just call number format and then we will call a get 
number instance property on it okay so just call get number instance okay that's it our code is finished now so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to save my code and i'm going to right click on my project and refresh it and then i'm going to run my project and my app is running now and you can see the initial value we have set to the text field and the slider is 50 so slider is in the middle because the minimum value of the slider is 0 and maximum value of the slider is 100 okay so we set 50 so it's in the middle now let's change the slider value so see if what happens in the text field so whenever i change the slider from here it's reflected in the text view right now because it's a bi-directional property we can set some value here for example 70 and the slider goes to 70 right or for example 10 and the slider goes to 10 okay so it's kind of bi-directional binding so its value is set in the both ways whenever you change the slider it changes the value in the text box and whenever you change the text box it's changed the val value in the slider and this is how bi-directional binding works in java fx so that's it for this video i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now